I feel like a missionary when I see aubergines. People don't understand how to handle and choose these beautiful vegetables. Now, they will only be bitter when they're old. While they are fresh, they will never be bitter, and you, there's no need to pre-salt them. But how do you know when they're fresh? You just feel, if you feel these hard little prickly spikes, that is an indication of freshness. The minute those spikes start wilting, then the aubergines are old. So, a way to prepare aubergines in mass, it's a good idea to buy them while they are cheap and abundant and available. And then you can preserve them like I'm going to show you now and just leave them in the fridge. And they will also freeze exceptionally well. All you do is you pat, ah, I'm just put a little bit of oil on this pan. Just put a little bit of olive oil on. Ah, and your hand is the best too. My grandmother always used to say, it's the tools you were born with. So just oil the pan a little bit. The other disadvantage why people shy away from aubergines is simply because you, they absorb so much oil. And I'll show you with this method that you can get away with the absolute minimum of oil. So you just pack the whole pan full of aubergines and then a gentle shaking of our seasoned sea salt. There's a little bit of nutmeg in this seasoned sea salt, which is excellent to bring out the flavor of the aubergine. Now, once you've done the whole pan, then you bake it in the oven for 35 minutes at a high temperature, 220 degrees. We've got another tray here and cake netu muelai color. Beautiful, soft, and delicious. Now at this stage we add a little bit of oil. We just, as the popular term is, we just drizzle it. And look how it brings up the color. And oil is a wonderful carrier of flavor. So it'll carry the flavor as well. And then we can, this is a nice little tool to lift things with. So we just lift it up, kum poppy. Just lift them up, that one was a bit thin. And then we can arrange them on our platter for the salad. Now I've got a salad here somewhere. Thanks, Janet. You can see here's a salad. We've just put a tiny bit of um, chives on it. And just before, if you like, you can just give it another little drizzle of olive oil. Well, bon appetit. Now, Easter breakfast is something we all look forward to. And what nicer than to serve some lovely muffins with fresh apple, lots of cinnamon, and crunchy nuts on top. You can see how beautifully uniform the size of these muffins are. Now, here is our tip of the month to tell you how to achieve that perfect same size muffins. You take an ice cream scoop and just scoop up the muffin mixture, put it into your buttered pans, and the trick to keeping the nuts nice and crispy is not to put them into the mixture, but to sprinkle the nuts on top just before you bake, and they will become crispy and crunchy and delicious.